We changed the world on an indoor concept where everybody is now electric. Today we're starting with an E outdoor, expecting we'll make that same move. So this is the introduction of electric outdoor karting. The K1 speed circuit is, is definitely going to be a challenge. A brand new circuit, it's never been raced on. At least double the speed of a typical K1 speed location. Obviously, there's competitors from all over the world coming. Canada, Mexico. The USA, Puerto Rico, France. China, Korea. You no, know, I feel like every country has different styles of racing for the most part, so they're gonna be very good. Putting all those different styles together is gonna be, gonna be interesting, but I, again, I think that Canada is very underrated. We have three really quality drivers that are here for a reason, and I think that we can, again, I think we, we can win this. So we are here in Irvine, California at the K1 Speed Indoor Circuit, and we are practicing for the World Championships in Winchester, California on Saturday. So I started racing karts when I was uh, 10 years old. To me, racing is just a place I can go and like distract myself from the world. It definitely improves my confidence in my overall life, and I think that it just helps calm anxiety. Any other feelings of doubt that I have in other areas of life kind of get pushed to the side, and I'm just fully confident in racing. Started racing go-karts when I was 18. I'm the happiest when I'm at the track. I'm the happiest when I'm in the driver's seat. Nothing compares to that, ever. For me, there's nothing more fun than getting on the racetrack. So uh, when I had the opportunity to come down to California to race, it's good weather and I get to drive. So I see no reason not to. So we're going to K1 circuit to compete in the world championship. A uh, brand new circuit, it's never been raced on. It's in the desert in Winchester. It's gonna be hot. 1.1 uh, mile circuit, lots of elevation changes. They pretty much have every type of corner imaginable, straights, hairpins. Brand new go-karts that have never been used. Definitely looking forward to racing on such a unique and huge track. It's uh, an honor to be out here also representing uh, type one diabetics or people with invisible illnesses, uh, showing that we can still go out and win world championships. Myself, Dawson, and Daniel are all gonna have a good chance at getting towards the top end of this thing. Uh, I raced against both these guys many times over the years uh, on the Canadian team, and they're both very skilled drivers. One of them is Nathan Wilkie, and uh, it's funny with Nathan, actually, in my first season of karting, I think he had already been doing it for a while, and he was winning every single race. I hated it. I did like a Goodwood Cartways Arrive and Drive League. Uh, I won that multiple years, like five or six championships with a few overall championships as well. They get to the track and I was still learning and he was winning everything. Um, but uh, I, I like to think I've caught up to him at this point. Daniel was one of my main competitors when I first started to going to K1 Speed. Dawson Campbell. I've raced against him many times at K1 Speed and he's a really good competitor. We've gone back and forth many, many times over the years. Dawson and Nathan are both really quick, talented drivers. And uh, I think if you include me, Canada's got a really good team here for the event. We're out here at the K1 World Championships at K1 Circuit. Uh, just showed up and checking out the beautiful track and I see all the cards lined up behind us. Just beyond excited to get this day rolling. Well, the uniqueness is uh, they are CIK FIA uh, spec cards, so no different than the top of the line that you see out there with gas. Extremely powerful, but also um, top chassis specs and braking system and, and aluminum type of uh, in titanium parts. We have about seven countries today, Canada, Mexico, uh, the US, uh, China, Korea, France. 
uh, about Team Canada. I know they're competitive. I'm expecting them to be on the podium. Uh, again, it's a new track, new layout. Uh, we'll see how people do out there. Just uh, checking my blood sugar before we get rolling for the race. The first practice here, uh, I get a little bit shaky and uh, yeah, it's just not something people can really see, but it's something that I deal with and I need to keep an eye on before I head out on track. Um, I haven't been in this kind of heat in quite a while, so uh, just letting my body adapt to it, keep feeding myself water and keep an eye on my blood sugar throughout the day and we'll be, we'll be okay. Well, out of the three racers that we brought, they're actually in the top 10. Dawson was our number one racer for the first practice runs. So we're super excited. And then uh, Nathan came in fourth, I believe, and Daniel was right behind him. Team Canada, uh, you're looking at three contenders. One of them is actually a return guy from 2019. And so he finished third in the very first world championship we held back in 2019. So he's coming back to, to move up on the, on the podium there, I know that. We also have our defending U.S. champion, too, that's going against him. Team Canada last year, they had a very strong driver. Sadly, it's been a long time, so I forgot the name. Um, I hope he's back because he was quite good. It's just, in my opinion, I think I got the luck out of the lot with the go-karts. This should be a lot more even. I hope I can get to the World Finals this year and give him a good run for the money. I met Team Canada and talked to him for a minute, and um, I was kind of impressed what they had to say. It seems like they have a teamwork kind of thing that they actually might precede whatever they're doing in Canada. Three drivers that we brought here uh, to California are not just three great drivers, three quality people, people that have uh, spent uh, a lot of time, a lot of hours uh, in our facilities, um, racing and uh, making friendships that last forever. And um, that's what I think I'm most proud of is the, the quality of the people that we've uh, brought here this year. I have my family here with me, my mom, my sister, and my girlfriend. She's raised me, she's my rock, I'm a mama's boy through and through. I'm, of course, as his father, very proud of Daniel to see that he's uh, made it here to such a, an important event. But I think that, I think that what makes Daniel unique is that he's here to enjoy the competition without the pressure of, of uh, being concerned about how it's going to turn out. We've had a couple delays today, so from the U.S. Championship, we're going to go straight into the Worlds. Our guys are going to get a three-lap qualifier, and they'll go straight into the finals. You know, being at 115 degrees under, you know, intense heat has really worn us down, and you know, being out there with all the suit and all the helmets, I'm pretty sure that it's pretty intense for our, for our racers. So our guys have been sitting around for about seven hours. Um, that's because the international guys got practice sessions early in the morning, and then the U.S. championships were happening throughout the day. And now with the finals, we have to get the finals done before the sun sets, so we're a race against time. It's not an easy situation. It's the first big race. The weather is it's incredibly hot. But I mean, they've been working all day. They haven't given up. Now the clouds have come out. It's later in the day. The sun's going down in the sky, so the track will be better.
We're not happy about it either, guys. That's the that's the call we've got, and that's what we're going to be doing. So very much appreciate you guys coming out. That's not at all how we wanted to end it. Uh, 8 a.m. at the track here to wrap up the world championship. Being able to call myself the K1 world champion would just be incredible. That would definitely be the biggest achievement in my racing career so far. It's an amazing idea. Like. This can boost someone's career like mine. It can give us exposure. Well, it's an honor to be in the World Championship, seeing that it's the best drivers in K1 across the world, basically. All right, we are here at the K1 Speed World Championship Finals at K1 Circuit in Winchester, California. And we've got 12 of the best international drivers here, hailing from the United States, Canada, Puerto Rico, and Mexico. This is the big show. Drive like it's the big show, please. All right, racers right now are ready enough for the final start. And we're green, green, green. Pete Phillips takes the lead, heading into turn one. All right, this is some fierce, fierce international competition out there on track right now. Most of them are bumper to bumper out there, racing clean, racing hard. Okay, and here they are rounding the corner, and it looks like it will be an American sweep. Peyton Phillips in first, we got Sean O'Hearn in second, and Giovanni Perez Amico in third position. But a great strong effort from Team Canada, Team Puerto Rico, and Team Mexico out there as well. concludes the K1 Speed E World Championship. It's been a great, great event. Thank you everyone for coming. Not the way I would have hoped that it went. I uh, started in second and right from the start of the race, not a great start. I didn't get the right jump and uh, the my entire row fell behind. Two guys ahead of me were battling, so I was able to reel them in. Um, got past one of them, was right on the bumper of the other guy. Um, and then as we came across the finish line for the checkered flag, the guy that I passed got by me right as we were coming across the line. And it actually happened to be uh, one of my fellow Canadians, uh, Nathan Wilkie. So not a great race for me overall, but the photo finish at the end definitely uh, gave me a reason to smile. Yeah, just got me. Yeah, just super happy to be out here with the, all the Canadians and represent Canada at the World Championship. Uh, I think I finished P6. I just couldn't really put it together like I did yesterday. Um, made some mistakes here and there. Uh, I did have some good moments. Got some overtakes as well, but um, yeah, disappointed. Uh, yeah, I'd like to say thank you to everyone for uh, helping put on this event and sending us out here to do this race. It was a lot of fun getting to take part in the first uh, event to K1 Circuit, K1 Speed Canada. Um, thanks for all the years of support in my racing. Uh, they've been uh, uh, big for me on and off the go-kart track. Very experienced. I'm happy that they gave us the chance to come out here in the first place. Obviously, not happy with the result. But uh, I know that I'll be back here next year. And uh, yeah, just thanks to them. They put on a great show. Unbelievable the amount of support that they've shown and that they've given to me. Uh, and again, they've supported me since I started racing go-karts at K1 Speed. 
So to finally make it to the World Championship and be able to represent K1 Speed Canada, uh, just a dream come true. I hope I did a good job for them. But thank you so much to everyone, all the team from K1 Speed Canada. You guys are all amazing.